Hello, hello, good morning. It's Kate Bolt, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in the UK, bringing you coffee and cards live every Tuesday morning. Welcome if you are joining me. Um, I'm just going to see if I can put my camera in the tripod. I'm holding it currently, but I think it might be better there. Just bear with me and I'll wait a few minutes to see if anybody hops on this morning. I hope this Tuesday morning finds you well and all is well in the world. Hi Joe. good morning. I loved seeing your pictures of your hedgehog this morning on Facebook, on your Facebook post. Your Henrietta Hedgehog has been visiting your garden. Uh, that's a bit high, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know if I can make it any lower. Oh dear, good morning Linny, how are you? I think I just need to sit back a bit. <laughs> Oh, there. How is that? That's a bit better. How are you? Hello, hello. I've got my glasses on. I can't see through them. They're so dirty. Right. Have you got a drink? I've got my coffee. Hasn't the weather been glorious? Been glorious. Yeah, Henriette is so cute. The weather has been glorious um, over the weekend and the first couple of days of the week. It's absolutely lovely. Oh, and it's so nice to see the sun shining. I hope the sun is shining with you wherever you are. If you've joined us, please uh, give me a thumbs up or just leave a comment so we know that you're here. And thank you for joining me for Coffee and Cards. You may or may not know my house is in complete chaos. So lots of things are happening in our household at the moment. So I will apologise if there's noise during the live today. We're having our kitchen ripped out currently for replacing. Um, hi, Anthony. So yeah, we have a skip. Currently, my view through the front of the craft room window out onto our front is I can see my kitchen sink on the lawn. Half of my kitchen, there's a skip with most of my kitchen in. Multiple vans and cars and all sorts. Hello, Kathy. So it's bedlam in our house, but it's great fun. And I'm so excited to be getting our kitchen done. So that makes up for all the, you know, all the stuff going on. So uh, is everyone well? Have you enjoyed the sunshine? It is so lovely. Um, I was very excited on Saturday because I, I drove down to Wales and I picked my lovely mum up and I brought her back here and we spent the day and we sat in the garden and we had such a lovely time and it's the first time I've seen her since last August and I think I saw I've seen her one day in the last 18 months it was amazing we spent the whole day it was so lovely Carol you're still painting your cupboard doors you're having your downstairs blue fitted <laughs> Honestly, I don't even, it's, it's not noise that bothers me that much. It's just the, oh, we have um, a microwave in the living room and a toaster in there. It's just, you can imagine, there's no water, there's no sink in the kitchen. There's, yeah, it's great fun. <laughs> I don't mind. I knew it was going to be like that and the end result's going to be amazing. So. But it's really busy because across the road, directly across the road, there's a man cleaning the roof. And then there's all sorts going on outside our front. <laughs> so I do apologise for any noise that we might have. But I don't know if you also saw in my, one of my Facebook posts that my pre-order for the brand new catalogue came yesterday. I am so excited. Uh, let me. Do you want to see the new ink colours? Do you want to see what they're like? I'm going to show you the ink pads so you can see them. I know, I, I thought that, Anthony, I thought oh, we could have a microwave on a table because we've got quite a large li living room. Um, thank you, Carol, you're so sweet. Um, and then we put a big table in there and put the microwave on and it sounds lovely. Um, I've only used it once so far. <laughs> it's fine. You think that's convenient, you can just heat up food and sit and eat it. But I am lucky because the kitchen is actually attached to our conservatory where our big dining table is. So I can go into through the kitchen at the moment into the conservatory. And I can use that dining table to put things on, uh, things that you know are sealed. Like there's a lot of dust, so it's not like we could eat out there. But you can put things on it, so that's good. New in colours for 2021 to 2023. I'm going to show them to you because my stuff came yesterday, and I can't wait to show you. They are gorgeous. We've got some beautiful colours. So we've got this one. 
this one, hang on, I'm going to turn this around because I'm getting nifty at doing this now. Let's try it. Hello, Valerie. Lovely to have you. Swap it around. You can see there. That one is pale papaya. Isn't that a beautiful colour? It's so lovely. It's almost like a peach, but without the orangey tone, if that makes sense. It's really lovely. It's like pastel. That's pale papaya. And then we've got a beautiful green. This one, Anthony, you'll love this. You know about this already. You've probably got all yours already. It's soft succulent. How nice is that colour? It's kind of a darker, much darker shade of mint macaron. Soft succulent. And then we've got this beautiful fresh freesia. Love this colour. I'm going to be playing with these soon. And then we have got, this is a good pink. This one is polished pink. How cool is that pink? I really like that. It's not, oh, we have Magenta Madness that came out last year, but this is much more, uh, it's not as mad. It's much more civilised. I like this pink. And then we have Evening Evergreen, which is a lovely green. Really like that. How cool is that going to be at Christmas? So those are the five new in colours. Yeah, so I got those and I got the gems that come in the in colours to match. Aren't they pretty? Look at those. And they're glittery. That's gorgeous. I've got some uh, stamp sets and things. Don't know if you want to see those. Uh, I got a bundle, which uh, um, the Flowers of Friendship bundle. So I've got this gorgeous stamp set with these. Hang on. No, here we are. These images, you can punch them out with a matching punch. And it's got some lovely um, sentiments. Thank you for everything. Many thanks from all of us. I like this one. Big card, uh, little card, big thanks. Life is better with friends like you. And then it's got this, this string of flowers along here. And this is the punch. Let me show you. Let me grab the stuff. I wasn't going to show you all this, but I've got a bit carried away. What's new? <laughs> so I've got the punch that matches those flowers. So you can punch those out. You can stamp them and punch them, or you could just punch the uh, your cardstock um, and you can layer them up and make really nice flowers. So that goes with that stamp set, that one. Um, and then I got this one. I love this. It's a background stamp. How groovy is that? How cool is that? I can see some really fun ink techniques being used with this one. So I'm going to have some fun playing with that. I already uh, have an idea of what I want to do for it. And then I got a bundle. No, I got a suite actually, which uh, I got the Pansy Patch Suite. And this is the stamp set with all these pansy images on and these lovely, it's got happy birthday, thank you, wishing you uh, a little extra happiness just because you're you. The little things you do make such a big difference and love you much. And then it's got all of these images that you can um, stamp out and layer up. This one is a photopolymer stamp set and there's a lot of stamps in there. It's got two lots of stamps inside. Um, and then the dies that match it are amazing. Let me show you the dies. I don't know if you can see these. These are all the dies. So as you can see, I'll go the right way. As you can see, it will cut out all of the stamps um, that you stamp. And then it's got embossing as well here like this. And you can cut out all the leaves and the stems and the stalks. So you could use it with a stamp set, but it stands alone on its own, this one, to make layered pansies. And also, what have I done with it? I've got the designer series paper that matches it. What have I done with it? Here it is. It is beautiful. Look at this. This is so gorgeous. This is 12 by 12. And we have, obviously, 12 pieces of double-sided. I'm always doing that the wrong way. So you get two of these. Um, oh, hang on, I can't show you. <laughs> Struggling here. This one. You can see this one. You can cut these out with the dies. You can cut the pansies out. That's going to make some gorgeous cards, isn't it? And then this one is beautiful. What do you think of these guys? I can't really see your comments at the minute. Let me just see if I can get rid of this. I don't know how I get rid of this. Oh, there we are. Oh, you love it. That's good. I couldn't see any of your comments. Leaves. These leaves are cut out with the dies as well. 
this is a very pretty one isn't it gorgeous and then the back sides of them the b side i think i love just as much so you've got all these pretty ginghams and then some stripes and then this one um, what else have we got in here? more gingham in the different colors these are primarily the new ink colors with a couple of other colors thrown in so gorgeous the colors on that are blackberry bliss bumblebee calypso coral and then evening evergreen fresh freesia pale papaya polished pink uh soft succulent and then soft sea foam and whisper white so those are those as they go with the new ink color so i thought they'd be very useful and go with the stamp set and the die set so they go with the pansy suite and what else did i get i got the in color pens stamp and write markers in the in colors because they're great for coloring in and i got the in color six by six designer series papers in all the colors the new colors They'll be perfect for making cards and it will go all coordinate. And of course, the card stock in the new ink colours. You can buy a mixed pack, here we go, of the 2021 to 2023 ink colour card stock in all those new colours. That one is the pretty, uh, that one is the pale papaya. Farewell, pretty peacock and welcome soft succulent. I'll bet that's your favourite new ink colour, Anthony. I'm not surprised. Hello, Zaina, you're not late. It's lovely to have you. So yeah, I'm gonna put all those things to the side. Um, I did get a few other bits. I can't even remember what I got. Um, I got one sweet, one bundle. I got, a, oh, I got some ribbon. I got the ribbon in the pale papaya, which is gorgeous. And I got these genial gems. These are lovely, aren't they? Look at those. So beautiful. I'm gonna be using those a lot. Right. Ribbon, here it is. Ribbon, there it is, pale papaya. I've got to go the right way. How pretty is this colour? Yeah, you're right, there's nothing like it in our regular colour family, is there? Um, I really love that colour. So that's what I bought. I also got a few other bits, some ink pads that I needed. Um, I got Lucy one an ink pad with me, so that eventually came in this order. Yeah, a few bits and bobs and some more whale over time papers and sequins. And now we're going to make a card or two. So my craft room is quite untidy. I don't know how you feel about that. Um, is Do you keep your craft spaces really clean and tidy or do you let them get a bit messy before you... Before you um, Tidy them up. I think you might be right, Carol. I haven't used it yet to know if it's pale papaya is my favourite, but I feel like it might be. I love these new ink colours. Do you know what? There's always one or two that I'm not sure about. I love all of these. They are fantastic. Yeah, my craft space, I have a chest of drawers in on one side over there and it houses lots of things in there but i've cleared the top of it and i've put like a little tablecloth on there that's our coffee and tea station for the house oh. you're gonna have to complain to apple if there's not a papaya emoji yeah messy then tidy for a while i think that's me too right excuse me for slurping my coffee let's put these pansy things away i cannot wait to play with the pansies with you and all of the other goodies and that new catalogue goes live on the 4th of May. You haven't got long to wait, people. Um, but if you don't want to wait and you want to get some of those goodies now, you can get some of them on the pre-order if you're a demonstrator. So if you want to join my team, join along and you can use, um, you can get your some of your goodies on your starter kit. Just message me if you want to know all about that. Right, let's crack on with some crafting before you're all bored senseless. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna try and turn the camera around, so do bear with me. Do you know, Zaina, that's a, that's a, sometimes that's a blessing in disguise not having a craft room because you're forced to keep it tidy. Yeah, the pansies are absolutely gorgeous. Right, let's take you out of the tripod. Turn it around. I'm gonna to have to turn my tripod around. I know, we get um, a pre-order list 
that we can order from. So there's like a select amount of items you can order. They're lovely, but I really want to get the things. It's always the way, isn't it? We always want the things that we see that aren't on the pre-order. I'm sure that if the things I want that aren't on the pre-order were on there, I'd want something else. <laughs> but um, yeah, I am, I am so looking forward to the full catalogue being released. Right, here we are. You can see what we're making. So this is week three of April's Coffee and Cars because I'm doing a kit in the post. Let me just sort this out and put this back right. Oh, <laughs> well, I did it, but now it looks all wrong. There we are. Yeah, so we're on to week three of Coffee and Cards Kit in the Post. Um, there we are. Next week, we've got some... Uh, which I thought was this week, is actually next week. I've labelled the weeks. Next week we have got the um, some fun fold cards with this and some with the lovely you and some designer series paper we've added in and things like that. You're putting in a large order on the 4th. Carol, you will not be alone. <laughs> right, I'm going to... If you subscribe to my kit, we're going to be making this one first and your envelopes will be labelled. So just grab the one that says this week with the dates on it. Alfie's just come in. I hope he's gonna be a good boy. Shut the door, cause it's so noisy. So we're making this fun card with some stamping inside and we've used the circle punches. And it's a really simple coffee and cards card. And I picked out the terracotta tile because we have this pretty ribbon and I like it stamped. Um, and I actually put this together. Oh, thank you. That's very kind, Anthony. Um, I put uh, Granny Apple Green and Terracotta Tile together and I thought there's no way that would go. I think I've used it in previous weeks, but I'm now, it's a nice colour combination that I really love. Isn't it funny when you find cards that you would never have normally done that? Okay, so let's grab some ink pads. They're not out yet. Bumblebee, just jade. Sorry, I'm making a noise. And I think that's it. I think we've just got four colours on there. Yeah, let's go for that. I love these colours all together. It's also quite an odd combination that work, in my opinion. Okay. So, we need to get some of the... Um, stamps out don't we let's have a look this is such a lovely stamp set and this is carrying over to the new catalogue so i'm very happy about that right i want the spray one and the long leaf one and the fan type flower one and the small flower one so and then the small flower one. I do apologise, everyone's talking outside my door. Uh, it's going to be like that for a few weeks. I'm so sorry if you can hear it. Not much to be done, is it? Right, lots of blocks. Right, okay, we're going to mount these up. So we're going to have this one. And this one, I think these ones fit on the A block. You could stamp your own. I can't see what the previous comment was. What could I stamp my own? Right, put that one on there. And then we need one for a sentiment. Okay. So let's have a look first. I am going to go with this lovely granny apple green, one of my favorite colors. What's your favourite green in the Stampin' Up colours? Anybody? Which is your favourite? Do you have you got one? Right. Now, the idea is I am going to pop this in the middle and I'm going to put my sentiment on this and I'm going to have all my flowers coming out like almost like a spray around the outside. 
Oh, they could have made a great designer series paper for this, Anthony. Sorry I missed your comment. Wouldn't it have been beautiful? And I'm just kind of showing it. Oh, I made a nice line. I do tend to do that with a stamp set. I think I've mentioned it before. I do press really hard and I don't know why. The new green. Which green, Zaina? Is it the soft succulent or the um, evening evergreen that you like? Oh, I do love a pear pizzazz, Joe. Such a cheerful green. Yay, I did it without making a halo that time. I'm just very, um, I don't know, determined with the stamp set. Yes. So we know that when I put that on there, these sprigs are going to come out the side. I'm just going to do two of those. That ink pad away. Right. I think I'm going to go for terracotta tile next. Old Olive, it is a really good, that's my go-to green, Anthony. You know, when you're not sure which green, it always ends up being, after I procrastinated, um, it always ends up being Old Olive. Such a rich colour, this terracotta. And then I'm going to go for this one. Oh, you know what, on my original, I used Pretty Peacock, didn't I? Let's go for Just Jade. Do you think it'll work? I can use Pretty Peacock, but it is retiring. Mm. I'm not sure. Let's try it. I mustn't keep using that beautiful colour because if I'm not sure if it's sold out. If people can't get the hold of it, it wouldn't be fair. Because sometimes people say, I love that. Where can I get it? Oh, no, that works. It's just a pop of that dark green you need. Nice. Oh, my fault. Sorry, Anthony. <laughs> No, I never said a word about it. It's your imagination. Right, so that one is just jade. And then... Alfie, be nice. <laughs> um, excuse me. Oi, stop it. Otherwise you'll go out. You have to behave. Hey. Leave him out there. Let somebody else deal with his barking. Right. Okay. So what we need to do is put a little bit more terracotta tiles. So I'm going to use this little stamp here. I really like this one. Okay. Fill in the gaps. Yeah, there's somebody at the door. I didn't realise somebody was lost who couldn't find where they were going. Oh, I think it might be our electrician arrived. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's just bedlam. Oh, dear. So I'm going to add in some of the bumblebee. I really love this soft yellow. It's really pretty. And I'm going to add it kind of a bit randomly where I want it to go. That's funny. The dog knew. He was like, they're here, Mum. And I'm telling him off. So if I put this on here now, we can see exactly what's showing out from here. Bit of that, so that kind of evens it out a little bit. Oh, I really like that. That's it. Okay, and then let's move these stamps over a little bit. Excuse my arm in in the way there. It's still all inky. I'm going to grab in a piece of scrappy paper. Let's grab another one. I've put that under my tripod and uh, I don't want to wiggle it around any more than it is. There we go. 
So let's grab this one and we're going to put a sentiment on the front. So let's have a think about what we'd like. Oh, hi, Wendy. Oh, lo lovely that you joined us. You're not late. You're never late. We're all kind of a coffee and classes are relaxed. You can come and go and just enjoy it. It's fine. I'm glad you're here. So I'm going to use just because again, which is what I used on the original card. But I really like that. Just because. <laughs> right, just because. Okay, and I think I'll use, I'll do it in the layer colour, which is Granny Apple. Granny Apple Green. Let's just stamp it, because sometimes I don't stamp it very straight. Yeah, that's fine. If I put this on first, I can then stamp the flowers around it. And I know that I've got room for my sentiment before I get carried away with the flowers. Okay, so I liked this sprig with Just Jade to match how I did it on here. You can see how I really press these into the ink pad and I end up with this line here. So if you do that, just remind yourself not to press so hard into the ink pad. I seem to be very enthusiastic with this stamp set because that can leave the halo mark that you sometimes get on your projects, which is very frustrating. Not what you want. There we are. So that's that. And then I think we'll just use the bumblebee for that small flower. I think that's what I did last time. It's like an orangey yellow, isn't it? I know they're gorgeous, but I do. I don't know what it is. I like, oh, I just kind of go for it. And I don't know why. Oh, I've just gone over my sentiment. See, I'm getting excited again. There we are. That's fine. <laughs> And I'm going to glue these two layers together. So if you've got the kit, all yours will be sent for you. And I might well have sent you two white circles just in case it goes wrong or not. I try to, so I hope I did. But if not, don't worry, you've always got another side. <laughs> Piece of card always has two sides. And there's, a, there's an absolute reason why that is. <laughs> for people like me. Okay. Pop that one on. So you leave a nice border. <laughs> Can you tell? I have had about three coffees. So I'm going to say this quietly because I don't want my lovely builder to hear. But he arrives and starts ripping the kitchen out every morning at 7.30. Does that tell you anything? And it's really good because it means I get up and I got Jacob ready for the school run super early. <laughs> Everything's organised. It's good. Okay, this is going on. Oh, we need our ribbon. So you should have a piece of ribbon. You might have the old olive one or you might have the terracotta tile, depending on what I popped in your kit. If you don't have any of it, if you're just if you're just doing um, joining along with what you've got. Just find something you've got in your stash and if you can, use an ink pad to ma match or something similar to bring those colours together. I just oh, pulled it again. I said, I'm just trimming off my tatty ends. Three. Now, I also did a thing. I was, I kind of end, I, <laughs> I was a bit flustered, as you can imagine, because our house is just completely everywhere and I was trying to work out where the coffees were and decanting new coffees into coffee jars and all of that kind of thing the other day. And I ended up decanting a full jar of caffeinated coffee into my decaf pot. So I like the odd cup of caffeinated coffee, but try and drink decaf the rest of the time. Now, I haven't been out and bought any more decaf since that occurred. So I am on full strength caffeinated coffee. <laughs> Yes, it's an interesting thing. Here we go. 
there. So I'll pop that on and I quite like this white space. And it's all gonna tie together here, like so. And I really like that. So I'm, look, I started stamping, didn't I? And I had a halo. Hello, Helen, good morning to you. Good morning, and it looks like a gorgeous day. So when I went on the school run, it was quite early. Well, we left it quite late in the end, actually. It was about half past eight, and it was already, I want to say it was already 11 degrees, which for April is pretty stunning, isn't it? So I am just gluing my... You're not late. Oh, Anthony, I re you know, I really want to like tea. I just don't like tea. But I love the whole tea idea. I think it's the most civilised thing. It looks so lovely, having a, a pot of tea and a nice teacup. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I just don't like it. <laughs> so this brings all the colours together because you've got your granny apple green and your terracotta tile and then you've got the right inks to match and the ribbon. Right, and then we want something in the inside, don't we? Just because... Just because, let's have a look. Just because, now this one says, trust me, you're lovely. I think we might use that one, but we might mask off the trust me, you're lovely and just do the you're lovely. If I can do it, let's have a look. I've got some rather lurid post-it notes. Let's try it. I think the dog's been shutting the, one of the rooms. I can hear gentle woofs. <laughs> it does make everything so much brighter, doesn't it? Right, so what I'm doing is, if you've not seen this before, I'm taking a bit of sticky post-it note and I'm sticking it over the part of the stamp set that I do not want ink to get on, I don't want to stamp. Okay, and then I'm going to ink up the whole thing in the colour I want, and I'm going to use Granny Apple Green. The thing you need to be careful of then is that you don't just stamp it, you need to remove this piece then and pop that in the bin. Okay, and then hopefully we've managed to get the bit that we want. And the bit that I want is your lovely. Hooray! Look at that. Oh yeah, flavoured coffees are nice too. But I'm very much a hot chocolate girl for flavoury kind of things. You're lovely. And then I'm going to bring in that lovely fern stamp. Actually, no, I'll echo what's on the front and so that it um, matches. That would be better. <laughs> You're not the only one, Anthony. You are certainly not the only one, which is why I uh, mentioned it. <laughs> bit of stamping on the inside and shall we pop a couple of those bumblebee flowers in with tarts for hot chocolate oh now you're talking I wonder if I can bribe any of my children to go to Costa's and get me a real swanky hot chocolate <laughs> I'll let you know if I manage it Okay, so we're going to stick that on the inside and our first card is done. I love these colours together. What do you think of the colours? Or would you, would you put some different colours in there? What would you use if you were doing this card? This is pretty. I think it's pretty. 
Do you know what I love is the some of the people who craft along for coffee and cards then go and post their cards in the Ink Stamp Share Your Craft Facebook group. And if they have the same set, very often they'll use different colours. Um, and it's just gorgeous. And it's lots of inspiration in there. You can see what people have done. Or if they don't have the same stamp set, they'll make a similar card and it looks amazing. So it's really nice to see. So if you'd like to hop over there, you can get some inspiration over there. Join our Facebook group. Oh, Hotel Chocolate. Oh, Nicola, Nicola's got a Velveteer. Oh, honestly, the uh, Hotel Chocolate Hot Chocolate is like a dessert. You have to have a knife and fork to eat it. It's so good. <laughs> That's our first one. I hope you liked it. You know what we could do? Those those are identifying which week's cards they are. We could put a little bit of stamping on there. Um, so I announced, mm, what are we in now, April? May's coffee and cards uh, kit in the post yesterday. Um, yeah, and we're going to be using the... Um, Celebrate Sunflowers bundle. I absolutely love that bundle. So, if you would like to craft along with me at Coffee and Cards, or if you would like the kit and you would like to watch it on replay later on and craft along, um, you don't have to be there live and do it. You could do it later on. It could do it to suit you. If you would like the kit... Hop over to my blog at inkstampshare.ink and you can see all the details on there. At the top bar, it tells you, it says coffee and cards, kits in the post. I'm making a bit of a mess with my splodgy <laughs> stamping, but I think it looks okay for the envelope. It just brightens it up. Yeah, so I would love to have you. I had quite a lot. I've only posted it yesterday and booking closes on Friday this week. And I've had quite a lot of interest already. I'm really excited about this one because it's one of my favourites. Trust me. Oh, just because you're lovely. I like that. And then we've got the envelope to match. So um, let's crack on with our second card. Yeah, do let me know if you'd like to join in with May's coffee and cards in the post. You'll have all the consumables for all of the cards that we make over the month. So you'll have the consumables for eight cards for May. Right, so this is a bit of fun, this one. We're all using the similar colours again. I think I fell in love with terracotta tile and now I think it's leaving us, which is very sad. Okay, so I've used the lovely labels picker punch. Um, to do the different size labels and I will show you afterwards if you'd like to or I will show you how to do these labels I've done it at each of the Facebook live coffee and cards over the last couple of weeks but I will go over that using the punch um, so I've got a regular A4 card base scored in half and cut in half and then I've got a white layer for my inside in basic white and that's just half a centimetre smaller, so 10 by 14.3, and that's where we're going to stamp our sentiment inside. And then I have cut a panel for the front that is smaller. It's a really basic one-layer card. And this one, I want to say it was eight. Was it eight or nine? It was eight and a half centimetres by 14 point... Oh, no. Yeah, so it was the whole width... Uh, the whole length of it across here. So that's 14.8. And then... It was eight and a half. So eight and a half by 14.8. And yours is all cut for you if you've got the kit. Okay, but that's the measurement. So you just cut it out of white cardstock. And we've got a ribbon. I'm going to use a couple of different colours. So I've used the Just Jade on this one. But I've definitely used Pretty Peacock. Sorry, Anthony. I've used Terracotta Tile. Rococo Rose, and I think that's Balmy Blue or Seaside Spray. I think it's Seaside Spray. I think I used some of the colours that were going because I wanted you to see how gorgeous they were, because you can get, still get them possibly. Right, let's have a look. I think I've got Seaside Spray. You can just use whichever colours you like. So... Let's have a look. Let's pop this on here. Actually, I don't need this piece. Let's move that out of the way. It's a bit distracting. 
lots of colours. Aren't these ones pretty? There's your favourite. <laughs> no granny apple, no yellow. Uh, we have got just jade and we have got terracotta tiles. So I've got five colours on this card. And I will need to clean my stamps. Oh, thank you, Anthony. Do you know, I haven't looked for a while. And when I um, designed all these cards, they were still all available. But obviously, you can use whichever colours you like. It's a great thing about florals. <laughs> Let's give that a clean. Can you hear that horrible squeaking sound? Sorry. I've got there. Good clean. What would we do with that? Our stamp is chamois. Yeah, okay. So let's go for it. What should we do first? Let's use the terracotta first, I think. Fitter has left. He's driven off in his van. It's very peaceful for 10 minutes. <laughs> right, so I know what I'm going to do. I'm doing a similar idea as I did with the circles. I'm going to bring it up in a spray around it. So, oh, you can still buy the ink pads. Anthony, thank you for looking. That's absolutely brilliant. They are so gorgeous, these colours. Can obviously do the oh I smudged that one. I'm gonna do it on the other side. I didn't like that. <laughs> Let's do that again. Do whatever colour you fancy to be fair. Okay, so that's that one. Terracotta. And then I think we're gonna go with just jade. This is turning out to be one of my favourites. Hello, Linda. How are you? Hope you're well. Right, I think I'm going to bring this one down. Like that. And there, like that, because it's kind of going to go over the top. I need to make sure I can actually see the things I'm stamping. So yeah, if I bring it down a bit, I can see a bit of green coming out of there. Only just though. Okay, let's have a look. Let's do the blue flowers. So I've got Seaside Spray. I bought a reinker for this because mine's getting very dry. So let's see, I might need to reink it. I think I think it's okay for today. Otherwise it'll take a long time. Let's pop that one in the end. There we go. Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? And then this one can come in there. Like so. And then one more. Well, I don't know, actually. Let's think about them. Uh, I think that it's... It's, I'm half between the soft succulent and the pale papaya. I'm kind of torn between those two at the moment, if I've got a favourite new in colour. Um, but my favourites in colours changes quite frequently. <laughs> and then I tend to go through phases of using them and using them and using nothing else. So I'm sure it will change as we go along, but let's see. Right, what have we got here? So I need, oh, I didn't get the leaf one out, did I? No. Where are you, leaf stamp? So this leaf stamp, we need to use this one. But yeah, I think I'll just play with them quite a lot and then we'll see. What about you guys? 
Now I've shown you the in colours, what do you think you might like the best? This one's going to stamp over the top, but I'm not going to mine. Carol, what do you think your favourite in colour is going to be? Right, that's enough of that one. And then Rococo Rose. Oh, the Freesia Joe. That is a pretty colour. You're absolutely right. Ooh. <laughs> Do you like that Freesia colour? I like to look like it's flowing out of the label. So if I can bring that one there. And bring this one down here, maybe. Like that. I think that's nice. Actually, it's kind of a bit far over this way, isn't it? I think I need something out here. I think I might bring another of these bricks here just to balance it because I've kind of stamped it all over that side. All oh, your kitchen is mineral grey now. Oh, polished pink is a great colour too. You're right, Anthony, you can use them all together. It's a rare year that we can do that, isn't it? They all work together as a little family of colours. And you can buy them all together as a set, can't you? I'm pretty sure. Uh, or we could. Now let me see, what am I doing? This green, just jade. Yeah. It'll be a colour family that you'll be able to buy as soon as the catalogue's live. Just the five together. Right, what are we doing? That one. There we are, that's fine. I think that's fine. Yes, that's going to do. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. But I can only see two of those, so I'm gonna put another one of these in. Succulent, freesia and papaya. Oh, now you've got me. I could play all afternoon. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stamp the sentiment and I'm going to put the whole of Trust Me, You're Lovely on this one. I don't know if I'll use the blue this time. I might change it up and use, should we say farewell to Pretty Peacock? Let's use it. Oh, it might not even fit on the, that might be why. Oh, it kind of fits. It might not fit. Should we try it? And if it doesn't fit very well, we can stamp on the other side. They don't all fit exactly if you use the smallest label punch, which is what I've used here. Could do it on that one side. But it might, if I don't put my head in the camera. <laughs> Of course it's normal. Oh, I smudged it. It looks like it fits though. It looks like we've all got kind of dodgy eyes. <laughs> I'm going to do it on the other side, even though it looks like that. Do you know, I was thinking about on stage the other day, Anthony. I've got to ask you, have you been to an on stage in the past? And I keep doing that. Right, I'm gonna pop it on as it is and I might redo it later. But I've also got to show you how to um, punch out that punch. Yeah, it's definitely normal. And the reason I was thinking about on stage was one of the great things about that, it's, um, it's a big stamping up event for demonstrators. 
and it's lovely it's amazing everyone in the uk can go to it if you're a if you're a stampin up demonstrator it's a huge live event and they treat us like royalty they look after us it's so fun and they show us all the new products before they come out we get to play with them they give us freebies we get the catalog we have fun we have demonstrations it's so fun anthony when we do the next um live event please go you will never regret it please go to on stage the only thing that i have to warn you about is if you do go is you'll never miss another one because they're so fun but the reason that just reminded me of that was because that's one of the things i love about it is one place you can go and you can get excited about things like stamps and colors and inks and tools and all things like that and the people around you love it so you know when you're in your house and your family like eyes glaze over when you start talking about it well when you go to on stage that doesn't happen <laughs> everybody loves it everybody's the same so it's fantastic it's so liberating um i'm just looking for glue for here so Oh, I've got a new sheet, a new sheet of dimensionals. Love it. So do go to the next live one, Anthony. It'll be so fun. Yeah, next time. I will re I'll redo this label in a minute. Because I smudged it two times. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. And I'm also going to stick the ribbon on. So I'm going to put quite a bit. Such a fun thing to do. And I was looking back at photographs of us on stage. Oh, gosh. It'd be so fun. Wouldn't it? Next year, next year, I think, we'll be going back to those lovely things. So any demo can go. It's just, honestly, it's a reason to join. Brilliant. Oh, hi, Jill. It's great, isn't it? Wouldn't it be fun? I could see you. I could see you, see you, see you. It'd be so nice. Oh, it'd be so fun. Carol's been, haven't you, Carol? We've been together. Oh. And swaps. I forgot about swaps. So swaps are, if you're not not familiar, swaps are where you join in with a swap. And uh, if you're going to an online event like that, you can make some swaps. And basically, it's a card that you choose and you make it with some of the new new or current products that there are. And you make, uh, you make one, but you can make as many of that swap as you like. So you could take 50 with you or 10 or 100 or whatever. And then when you get there, you are in a room full of hundreds of people. And they're from all over the country. And sometimes they do them in other places. So our European live event was in Amsterdam. So I went to that one. And so you've got people from all over Europe to connect with. And so you just go around the room handing out your swap to people. You give it away. But in return, they give you your swap, their swap. And so if you take 50, you end up with 50 different cards. So 50 different lovely little bundles of inspiration. And you get all sorts. Of, some people are just <clears throat> so creative. It's incredible doesn't have to be a card. You can get boxes and little, all sorts of things. Swaps are fabulous. So that's what a swap was. We had fun, didn't we, Carol? So trust me, you're lovely. And what did I put in there? Always. Oh, now I'm pining for on stage. <laughs> oh, we can do it. We can go back to it. Right, I've got some stamps and always I need to put inside. And they're open to all demonstrators. Nothing beats a live event. Do you know, that's a nice thing to do, isn't it? If someone does a YouTube video to show their swaps, it's a really good way to uh, share that creativity and inspiration. Always. No squashing of the stamp. Look, I hope you're proud of me. And I can't remember what I did. Here we go. A little bit of stamping inside. There we are. And I think I did the Just Jade. I did.
We're such a nice bunch though, aren't we? Us Stamping Up demonstrators. At big events like that, we always connect and make friends with people and it's a lovely thing to do. I know in our team, we all look after people who've never been before and make sure they're having a good time. I suspect it's the same in yours, Jill and Auntie. Well, I know it is. Let's have a look. Let's pop that in there. There. Trust me, you're lovely, always. So there we go. Both terracotta tile. We're changing it up next week. And we've got, I think we've got a monochrome theme and we've got some designer series paper and we've got a fancy fold. So completely different, but with the same stamp set next week. And that's the last one in April next week. It is, Anthony, you're absolutely right. It's lovely to share all that fun, isn't it? So this was the second card. And this was our first card with our envelope to match. So don't forget to stamp your envelopes. You don't want any naked ones. No naked envelopes here, please. <laughs> no nudie envelopes. Yeah. So I think that was my sample one. And this is the one we made today. So pretty, these colours. And then this was a sample one. And I used Seaside Spray. And there I've used Pretty Peacock to say goodbye to it. Just for our simple coffee and cards, one layer card. And I'm saving all these so that at the end of April, I'll go through all the ones we've made. And then I'm going to put them in the post to people. Do send out your cards. It's make a card, send a card. Okay, not, mend a, not make a card, keep a card. <laughs> all right, so that's it for today. And thank you for joining me. I'm so pleased you could join me. I'm so glad this set is, joining, is carrying over to the new catalogue too, Wendy. It's fantastic. Um, so if you're watching me, uh, thank you very much for joining me. Um, it really, really helps. And if you're watching me on replay, do let me know. Write replay and let me know if you liked it um, or if you've had a go at it. If you do make the cars or something like it, pop it in my group, my Ink Stamp Share Your Craft group. I would love to see them. We all like to share. And if you're watching on YouTube, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. These videos are always chatty ones because they're Facebook Lives and I hope you've enjoyed it and you can always catch me live as well if you like our Tuesdays 11 o'clock BST. Thank you peeps and uh, I will be back on Friday this week for a Facebook Friday Live and uh, oh is this the one you've ordered Linda? Oh excellent. Thanks Wendy. Take care everybody. Love you lots. Have a great week. Enjoy the sunshine. Bye bye.